like the good old cassette player, the spare tyre is now becoming a thing of the past. And that's because almost all car manufacturers have decided to stop supplying them. So if you've bought a new car in the last few years, then check your boots, because the chances are you'll find it empty. So this bottle of sealant has to be upside down. So I think it needs to get to two before we actually activate it. In spite of my best efforts, no sealant entered the tire. Time for another tactic. Let's try it again. That bottle of sealant is now empty, so it's clearly been pumped into the tire. In fact, according to police figures, more than a quarter of a million mobiles are stolen each year. It's a big problem for customers, but not for the companies themselves. And then it's hitting this heavy uh, thing. This is the actual weight on the top that it's hitting. So this is essentially smashing through the top of the washing machine, and that's yeah. what's creating the that's damage. That's what seems to be creating the damage. Good evening all, Ricky here with Thursday's News Round. Sit back because we've got a packed programme for you on the way. It's day seven of the Paralympics. Join me live from the Olympic Park with all the latest. A flood alert has already been issued here in Burton-upon-Trent in Staffordshire and a more serious flood warning has been issued along the side of the River Trent, which is one of the major rivers in England. Crime is an issue that a lot of people care about, so how come eligible voters weren't rushing to the polling stations? I didn't have any information about who to vote for or anything. I had the card through the door, but that was it. The majority of people in China didn't actually get to choose their new leader. The country has just one party, the Communist Party. It's a huge organisation with more than 18 million members. The number of wild birds on farmland has fallen by more than 50% in the past 40 years. Conservationists are saying more needs to be done and fast to make sure that our birds are protected. Now we've seen so many of your snowmen and women and Daleks and dogs and cats. Now it's time to make the news round snow. The red carpet at the Brits. It's a chance to see some of our favourite singers looking pretty dapper. Let's check out the heels. I have got some pit high heels on. My goodness. What I like about it is that you're still rocking the trainers as well, which is very, very cool. They're a fan of the bow tie. Thank you very much for speaking to us, Emma, again on the last ever Harry Potter film. It's quite sad, isn't it? It is quite sad. Well, we have been there all the way. In fact, News Round was the first show to get an exclusive interview with you. I don't know if you remember this. Oh, my goodness. I was sort of 10. Yeah. Would you like to see this? No! Oh, I don't go. know if I do. Oh, you're going to show it to me. I'm going to show it to you anyway. Like it or not. It's like an embarrassing parent. Here we go. Oh. I rang my best friend. Uh, I was just, just as I'd been told, like literally minutes after I'd been told. <laughs> I was like, I'm here. You know, not to be able to. That's enough. Thank you. You're enough torture. <laughs> This is London and here's Friday's action-packed Olympic news round. Greg Rutherford, what a legend. Go on, Greg. You were surprised about Greg. Yeah, I was very <laughs> shocked about Greg. The medal hopes aren't over yet with Sir Chris Hoy and Victoria Pendleton going for gold again. Well, I've just got back from the Olympic Park where I spent pretty much the whole afternoon speaking to loads of kids about what they think about the Paralympics. And loads of them have been telling me that their views on disabled people and disabled athletes have really changed over the last couple of days. You can hear more of those views tomorrow on News Ramp. This is Dadaab, the biggest refugee camp in the world. Hundreds of thousands of people have come here because they have nowhere else to go. There's about 2,000 students here aged between 5 and 19 years old and they stick to the Kenyan national curriculum. They learn Swahili, English, maths and science and they've given us a fantastic reception this morning. In this programme, I'll be meeting Americans getting ready to vote. Who are you going to vote for? Obama. Obama. <laughs> People here really care about whether they can provide a good enough life for themselves and their families more than anything else. Well, welcome to Trafalgar Square. It's so busy right here. In 2001, Harry Potter had its first premiere in Leicester Square. A couple of hundred of people turned up. Well, now, for the final ever premiere, there are 7,000 people here. Yesterday at a press conference, you said you realised it was the last film when you saw that final poster and you thought, yeah. oh, hang on a minute, this is all coming to an end. What was that feeling like for you? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it really, I mean, these last few few month, months have kind of been in a bit of denial, I think, really accepting the fact that it really is over. We're back later this afternoon at 3.30. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.